guys, Rob Baldwin here, IMAX Productions and 10 Minute Design. Um, I'm a little late on this, but I recently realized the, noticed that Twitter had changed their uh, header design so from the previous design from last year, so I decided I'd, made, I'd make another template. So here we are, here's what I came up with. Uh, this is the Twitter 2014 cover art. You can download this freely at 10minutedesign.com and I'm going to show you quickly how to use it. Now, these are the dimensions that Twitter recommends, so 1500 by 500. Now, I spent a lot of yesterday you know, uploading this to, to my Twitter and figuring out exactly what to do and how it looks on the different devices. And I came up with some guides. So come here in the layer palette in my guides. On desktop, here's your guide. So, as you can see, we're cutting a little bit from the top and bottom. Even though they do recommend a 500 pixel height, on desktop, you are cutting off the top. This is what I noticed when I uploaded my own image. Also, this area here should be nothing important because your avatar kind of cuts into it. Similar to what Facebook is doing, but the difference here is it scales depending on the, uh, the width of your browser. So make sure to keep this whole area somewhat uh, free of important details. Okay? Now, for mobile, you're quite constrained. Uh, this is your visibility for mo for mobile devices. Now, I you know I would assume they would kind of just shrink the image, but no. I what I noticed was they were definitely cutting off here and here, and actually a little bit at the top and bottom. And of course, your avatar goes right down the middle. Your name and Twitter handle and some other information. So you're very limited as to if you want to put any in, any information in the background of your design. You're quite limited by this. And then, of course, tablet, same idea as the mobile, just slightly bigger. They do push it a little larger since there is more room on a, mo uh, a tablet. Okay, so, yeah, it, it's kind of a, a tough design to work with because all these different devices are, are using the design in a different way. This seems to be the way they're, they're, they're going. I know YouTube is very similar in, in that respects, um, that there's a whole bunch of different guides to, to keep an eye on. I think the idea is they don't want you you know, plastering advertisement on your header. I think they want you to go more with a, an image or design that way. It still looks good. You're not cutting off text. You're, it still looks good in any device. Okay? So, this is uh, the design I came up with here. I mean, it's very plain. I'm, I'm just, it's temporary while I come up with different ideas for my personal header. So I've gone and saved this as a um, JPEG, and now Let's move on to Twitter here and let's go to my settings, design, actually you won't find this in design, design you can change the colors and stuff, but you're actually going to find this in profile, and you have your, your avatar here you can change, and then you have your header, so we're going to upload photo, grab that one from the desktop, and there's no rescaling or positioning to do because we've designed it at perfect size. Uh, the perfect dimensions they recommend. Click apply. And then go see your profile. And here we go. Okay, so as I mentioned earlier, as you can see, if, oh, as I scale this browser, you see the avatar actually changes locations. So you want to be aware of that. Okay, hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Please go over to 10minutedesign.com, download that template freely, and start designing your new 2014 Twitter header design. Thanks for watching. If you have any suggestions, I'd love to know what, what techniques, what tutorials would you guys like to see. Please comment below, subscribe to this channel, and um, go to 10minutedesign.com, check out all the cool stuff I got there. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. Talk to you later.